Hey, 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 it is Evelyn here and I am back with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the importance of defining your own luxury. So if you are new here, welcome. Okay, I'm Evelyn and I help creative women, entrepreneurs and influencers enjoy their success without the stress through strategic self-care and business systems. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how to define your own luxury. If you have been a long time follower, a long time subscriber, girl, welcome back. I'm glad that you're still here. I'm glad you're still enjoying these videos. If you are part of the Evelyn Inc. family, make sure you are sharing these videos with other women, influencers, entrepreneurs, and creatives that you know need support in their business and in their self-care. So I know you're thinking, what do you mean by define your own luxury? And I can tell you exactly what I mean. You know, a lot of times on social media, we have been told what luxury is, whether luxury is a certain designer bag or a luxury is a certain lifestyle or a luxury is uh, a, a certain style of clothing. And what I really want to tell you is that you get to decide what your own form of luxury is. And I'm going to give you two very different examples, one including myself, one including a former client of mine on how you define your own luxury. And the reason why this is really, really important for your business, for your self-care, and just for yourself is because you have to know what you're striving for. So one of the examples I'm going to start off with is I'm going to use myself in defining what my luxury is. And so two things that are absolutely a luxury to me that are non-negotiables and that is part of the reason that keeps me going when I'm not in the mood to work or when I'm not motivated to do what I know I need to be doing is I want a certain level of luxury. So my first level of luxury is my time. I like having complete control over my time. As my mother would say often, she likes waking up in the morning and, and she gets to decide what's the most important things for her to do that day, even if that means staying in the bed all day and watching Netflix, okay? So for me, having control over my time, having flexibility with my time, being able to be there for friends and family when there are special occasions or when there are certain life events going on, that's really, really important to me. I view that as a luxury that I don't have to go and check in somewhere and have to request time off or request to be able to do something with my friends or family. So if you're married or have children, maybe as my coach would say, you know, you want to date your spouse in the middle of the daytime, maybe that you want to be at your kids events, but having control over my time is a huge luxury for me. The second thing that I've defined as my own luxury is the kind of food and the quality of food that I eat. For me, I love to eat organic food. I love to eat really high quality produce. There's certain stores and levels of stores that I like to shop at. I like to experiment with a variety of foods. Y'all know your girl, okay, is a chef, okay, classically trained. And so, you know, the quality of my food is very, very important to me, being able to try exotic things and interesting ingredients and just what people might consider bougie food, it's like important to me, right? But that's my own form of luxury, which may not be that important to somebody else. But that is one of the things that keeps me going is to be the ability to be able to do that. So another luxury that was one of my clients is that she wanted to build a business that she could earn enough money to homeschool her children. And some people may not think of that as a luxury, but for her, that is absolutely a luxury. Whereas some people would prefer to put their kids in private school. Some people, you know, would prefer to have in-home tutors, but she wanted to be able to homeschool all four of her children. She wanted to be able to take her children with her and her husband as they travel the world. And so that was a luxury to her. Whereas some people may say, no, luxury is private school. And she's like, well, no, luxury is um, homeschooling. And so what I want to challenge you today is I want you to go through and think about different areas of your life. And I want you to define your own luxury. And if you find yourself saying, I don't really care about that, then make changes, right? So if you've let, you know, media and social media and 
TV and movies and the world and the culture dictate to you what luxury is, I'm going to encourage you to define your own luxury. And once you do, I think you'll find that it's very comforting being very clear about what is a luxury for you and what you really enjoy versus what other people enjoy. And so it makes making decisions about how you want to live and how you want to take care of yourself that much easier. So I want to invite you to join my best life challenge by clicking the link in the description box. If you haven't already, we are dedicating this year to strategic self-care and to living our best life in multiple areas. If you have not gotten the best life bundle where I give you uh, several ideas for different areas of your life on how to live your best life, then make sure you grab that as well. If you're interested in creating a strategic plan for your life and for your business, I'd love to support you in that and we can work together. You can apply for a complimentary strategy session with me by clicking the link in the description box or by going to bit.ly forward slash chat with Evelyn. Love to see if we will be a great fit for working with each other okay and the strategy session is free but i don't coach for free y'all know me okay and uh, i will see you in my next video peace